Simon, you did a really good time. How did it go? Felt good, yeah, it's been good out there. First few stages have been a bit slippery, but tricky, but those last two went real well and felt real good. Have any moments? Yeah, had a couple on um, the first stage, and then that last stage spun on the last, or stood on the last corner in the last, last stage. That, that was a bit of annoying, a bit annoying. Is the car going well? Yeah, the car's going real nice after we rebuilt it. It's going real well. Ha haven't had too many problems yet. Let's have it stays like that. Okay. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, Simon Cox did his um, 6.07. You did a 6.08, so you're one second off on, the, on that first stage. Yeah, you're going a little bit faster than us, but that's pretty close though, so that's, that's good, that's what we want to be doing. Any moments yet? Nah, not yet, we're just driving nice and tidy and making sure we get to the end. So apparently, as I saw on Chris Sport, you had a new co-driver. Yep, I've got Lars from the roofing store with me this time. Uh, something a little bit different, we're going to go on a rally car for it. Mm, it's, yeah. di it's different than having a, um, having a boy in the car. Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, we don't have to have any notes this time, so that's fine. Lars is doing a good job telling us where to go. Any damage? Nah, no damage. Uh, Nice and tidy. Thanks. Brad, um, Brad you, you, you was a little slow on the first stage, um, not fast as the Sloan Cox, but um, doing a reasonably good time. Yeah, no, we were going all right in the first one and then we broke Max all about two thirds of the way through. Which, so, um, which end? Uh, left rear. So it was at the intersection we cut the corner and it jumped up on two wheels and when it came down it just sheared it off. So that was that and then drove through stage two. So that's the damage you got? Yeah, there, that's all, it's all sorted, so just going through that, yeah. Any more moments? No, no, that's it, We're keeping it safe. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. All right. Brian, from my calculations, you are probably about, about, tw about 23 um, seconds off by Phil Campbell in that last stage. Um, any damage or any moments? No, we, um, we were going along as quick as we could, it was, it was uh, pretty slippery in there and those local boys know the roads and we don't know them near as well as they do, but they're going very quickly. Hmm. So no damage? No, not at all. The car's oh, perfect. Okay. Now, how's the car acting? Sorry? How's the car acting? Good. Yeah, excellent. Yep. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. That, 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 the second to last stage you did a 622, how did it go? Yeah, good. The car's going good. Felt good all day. Hmm. Any moments? No, not really. No, no we're just cruising. Us. Mm. It's better than the last um, last event. Hey. Yeah, a little bit better, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So no moments? Oh, we've had a couple of just little scares, but nothing, nothing too much. Mm. Yeah. Because in the last event, you was telling us a little bit of lies about um, you saying that uh, you were keeping on going while well, your car was in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I might have told a few stories last time, mate. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Sweet, thanks. 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 Tony, you was one second off by Brian Green um, in that uh, last, uh, in the six to last stage. What happened? What happened? Well, obviously I was uh, one second too slow, which is a bit of a shame. Um, no, it was a good stage. It was um, uh, nice, fast roads. I like the faster roads. The last previous two stages were faster. And they are really good. I do enjoy them. Any but better moments? than the tighter stuff. Any moments? Oh, one wee moment actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, just a bit two sideways in a, in a 90 right corner. It was very, very slick. And where it turned into some forestry and some trees. But that's uh, nah, good though. Enjoyable roads. So no damage? No, no damage. No, I don't want to damage it. I've already done a bit of damage this year. I don't want to get out that road again. So, just no. like Hawke's Bay. Wow, yeah, that was a shocker, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was um, quite a big repair bill and I had an enormous amount of people help us repair it and I was very, very grateful. Can you tell us what happened at Hawke's Bay first? Hawke's Bay, we had a, uh, it was a very, it was a fast corner at seven right and it, the car snapped violently sideways and it, I sort of questioned myself for quite a while whether it was me or, or, um, or whether it was a fault with the car I and mean, we don't, I don't like to blame equipment, I just seriously thought it was me but we've actually since found out we had a faulty handbrake switch which opened the uh, centre diff up, the electronic control diff and the car snapped very sideways. Um, I was quite lucky to have Rob Ryan sit in the car with me and with his experience, I mean he, when we were walking up the road after the crash he was uh, a little bewildered as to what had happened. So. And it was unusual, I'll just quickly go on about this, it was unusual, the car was parked on the side of the road and uh, 20 cars that went past and then the branch snapped and it fell another 5 metres down into the ravine so we had quite a lot of damage to repair, it was a bit unlucky. Sweet, thank you. Um, Warwick, you were um, one second faster than Brian Ayling. You, you did a 627, he was just one second slower. Yeah, it was an awesome stage that, um, having come here for the first time, um, that was the scariest stage I've ever done. In fact, I think, um, well actually no, the last one, 
was the long one was just horrendous here. So. Any moments yet? Uh, yeah, we've had a few moments. We've got a bit of damage on the front of the car at the moment from the first stage. Um, a guy turned around in front of us and we came around the corner and got distracted and, and uh, put it into the same bank that he went into. <laughs> it's just the way it goes, isn't it? <laughs> So, um, so only a little bit amount of damage. Only very small, yeah. Just the bumper supports a bit bent, and that's it. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. thanks. Okay. Twenty seconds off Warwick Redfern. Did you have any problems in that last stage? Uh, the last two have gone really well, actually. We had a bit of a moment early on in stage one, which calmed me down a bit in there, and then we had to stop for the Eve off road. So we came in service with a bit of a, a bit of a question mark over the car's handling and stuff, but we went over it, checked everything, and then we now in the last two and had a real good blast in the last. Stages, so good to see how we're going against the rest of the Civic later in the day. So, any damage? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> any moments? Yeah, just that one early on in stage one where I thought we were going to collect Chris's rear side, but it's all tight, you know, though. Managed to collect it up, calm down, and carry on. So, it's yeah. better than Taranaki after that um, that big moment you guys yeah, had. Yeah, that was a good battle with Tyson and Taranaki, but uh, yeah, the car's a bit patched up after that, but still going all right, so. And, and also is better than Wire Rapper. Yeah, well, Wire Rapper was my side, and that was a retirement, so yeah, everything's better than Wire Rapper as long as we're still going. <laughs> okay, thanks, thanks. Cool, take care. You did a 622. It's the same as that, um, Ian Woods. That's uh, quite surprising, as he's in a two-wheel drive. He t did you have any moments yet or something? No, not really. We're just bloody easing it through the first couple of stages and uh, settling in with the car and sorting out how the suspension's working and that sort of thing. So, uh, so there's no damages yet? What's that? There's no damages yet? No, it seems to be okay. We've had a few little issues with the back of the car just wandering around and stuff. But, um, yeah, no, it seems hopefully it'll be right for these next few stages. We'll push it this afternoon and see how we're going. Will you push in the next few stages? Yeah, we'll ideally like to be on the old podium at the end of the day, so we'll see how we go, see how the car feels around Tech Park. And, and um, you must be leading the uh, novice rally. Yeah, well, the last I heard we were fourth overall, so um, yeah, I mean, just, yeah, to see how things go as well. Dom, in that um, second to last stage, you did, you did a 712. How much faster are the other drivers? What's going on? I'm learning. I'm, I'm a novice. Not fast as drive, no, oh, yeah. early days. And the, in the last so, stage you did a 1209, have you had any moments yet? Yeah, in the last stage we, when the comms not working, well, I can't hear anything, so um, I can't pick up the instructions and we just arrived at the T-junction, didn't know whether to go left or right, nearly went over the photographer, and then we went right and missed them. Hmm. So, and, uh, any damages yet? No, tough wood. <laughs> Is that it?